Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com, your world champion of rooting Galaxy S2 and other Android phones. Um, anyway, um, today we're going to root my new Galaxy S2 white version. Uh, I have another version of rooting video, but um, that one is, uh, um, it installs using Odin. I'll show you how to do it um, using, um, using, well, this is this will just root your phone without installing a uh, custom recovery but this is good for those of you who don't want to mess with Odin um, because Odin can break your phone um, this is much safer method and this will give you root on any gingerbread Galaxy S2 device I've got the um, i9100 UHKI2 there see where the kernel ver version is doesn't really matter um, so long as you have a Galaxy S2 i9100 series um, or actually you could probably try this on any Galaxy S2 series uh, because it's pretty safe to do if it works if it it works um, but it works on this one um, so let's do it we're gonna go root it this is a new method it's not gonna touch uh, anything it's just gonna give you root um, using a zergling method we're gonna send zerglings to your phone so let's go do this so first you're gonna need to um, go to uh, settings menu settings and go to applications and development make sure your best USB debugging is checked on then you're good to go and then you're gonna connect a micro USB cable from mm -hmm. your phone to your computer uh, right now I have this is for Windows but you can do it on Linux or Mac I'll have another instructions on that um, I'll have to set up a script for that so this is pretty easy to do let's go to our computer next next what you're gonna do is download this file called Galaxy S2 root new dot zip and unzip it and you'll find a folder and run me dot bat simply um, you can run it but before we do run it go to your control panel hardware and sound and device manager uh, I might be this is on Windows 7 might be a little bit on uh, different uh, on other windows if you don't know how to get to device manager go google it um, for your system and you should get Samsung uh, something like this Samsung Android phone with Samsung Android ADB interface if you have that you're good to go if you don't install Samsung key software um, it will install the drivers for you and then unplug and plug your phone back in and it should automatically install the driver so long as you have something that has ADB in it you are good to go and next what we're gonna do is simply run this uh, file right here and we should be rooted so let's double click on that and you'll get this window and just hit enter and then it's gonna um, send in some zerglings uh, this should take about 20 minutes or so I'm gonna set up a uh, thing here so you can see better um, hold on let me set it up here and I'm gonna go have a smoke um, and I'll show you my phone right here on my stand here and let me adjust the camera while it's working and uh, let's do this and that way you can see exactly what's happening to the phone and I'm gonna go have a smoke and I'll be back and this should take like five minutes and once it's you see sending zerglings it's like Starcraft um, once it's done it'll reboot and uh, if you get no errors then you, your phone should be rooted um, but this again this does not install clockwork mod recovery which you will need to install new ROMs but if all you need is root your phone just to you know use root apps um, this will do and this is more of a universal method then installing a uh, another kernel which can brick your phone if you you know oh not really brick your phone but it's a lot more dangerous and uh, but this is safer just using Zerg Rush and you know rooting it um, I've got Android 2.3.4 on here it should work on all gingerbread um, if it doesn't work you can use my other method over at Galaxy S2 root.com and uh, this is uh, this is the same method actually. Um, use on a droid razor so when ICS comes out I'll have a new method also um, so it's gonna actually you know what I'll, I'll stay here maybe smoking too much isn't good too good for uh, my health 
Um, the good thing about the i90-100 series is because uh, it has a, um, it, it's the international version and it came out like six months before the US versions. So there's a, a ton more ROMs and it's, it's more like the universal Galaxy S2, um, you know, everywhere except the US has this version, the i90-100. And, you know, there's more ROM for it. There's more, actually, users if you count everybody. Um, so it's a good, you know, it's a good phone. And you can get the unlocked version like I did on Amazon. And plus, you don't need a contract, you know. And plus, it's unlocked. So if you go to overseas, like, you know, Thailand or something, you can use uh, um, the SIM card there and it will work right away. Whereas the AT&T version that I have here, um, it will only work on AT&T unless you unlock it. And uh, unlocking can be a pain, and you know, it's always get good thing to get the the um the unlock version. And I know there's 4G LTE version, the Skyrocket too. I didn't get that one, but you know, 4G LTE costs too much unless you have an um, unlimited grandfather plan. For those of you who don't know what a grandfather plan is, um, it's you you have the service when AT&T had unlimited service. And it, you know, if you get 4G LTE or new phones now, you can get still get unlimited. Um, unfortunately for me, I got it, you know, after they closed it, because I, I boycotted AT&T for 10 years. Um, and then, you know, as soon as they, you know, well, I, I bought some AT&T phones again, so um, like a year back, and uh, they they stopped being as you know too evil. Well, they stopped being evil. So that's why I've got the AT&T. But the good thing about the AT&T over other carriers is that uh, AT&T uses the same GSM um, frequencies as the rest of the world. Most of, like 99% of the world. Um, so you can use your phone, if it's on lock, you can use it everywhere in the world. So now mm -hmm. you can see it's, we sent in mm -hmm. Zerklings and it, it said it's everything and it's doing, it's installing BusyBox, it's rooting your device. And when it reboots, you should mm -hmm. have, um, there we go, you should have a super user app and uh, you should be ready to go. And uh, in my next video, I will have a uh, instruction on how to install um, a kernel with Clockwork Mod Recovery for those of you who want to install new ROMs. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to root, then you can stop here. And as you can see, it didn't do anything but add root here. So let's go. Let me change the camera angle real quick. Hi uh, folks, so um, when you go back to your phone phone after a phone, <laughs> I'm sorry, so I've been making too many videos today. Got up at five in the morning. <laughs> um, you should be able to find super user and you can verify that it's working by going to preferences and then uh, hitting update binary version 3.03 .03, and then um, hit update and it'll pop up. If you get that request, that means your phone has been fully rooted. Um, so that's going to give you root. Again, it's it's not going to install recovery. You need to install a custom kernel for that. Um, but your phone has been rooted. Um, so this should work on any version of Galaxy S2 with gingerbread. Um, so anyway, thanks y'all and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to my email list at Galaxy s to root.com um, basically you get updates not all the time just maybe like once a week uh, when we have new roms and uh, you know new stuff so um, thanks y'all and uh, i'll have a uh, new more videos see y'all later